Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back today to say hello everyone, to say I love you guys, and to let you know what's been going on. So hopefully um, today is Thursday. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to put up a review box and then I will get back to our regularly scheduled videos this Saturday. I have a healthy living for him that's been pre-done way in advance and um and then i'm excited to get back into a regular flow i owe you guys the one um bible journaling i owe you guys the hymnal journaling for the camp and then we will get back into our regular flow then we'll work on my heart christ home and then we will begin again with um our regular bible studies so what's been going on um, so just to let you know, sorry, my computer is causing the printer to make noise. Um, it's out of paper, so it keeps trying to resend a signal. Um, I have had a couple of like really crazy health things happen. The first thing without getting into too much detail is still in the process. So we got some really bad news. Um, it has nothing to do with my diet. Diet's going fantastic. Um, it's crazy. And I will do a healthy living for him on that. The Not this Saturday, but the next. Of all the current amazing things that are happening that way. Um, my overall health is very good, so I don't want anybody to worry. Um, but I think we went to an inexperienced particular doctor. My husband immediately sat in the waiting room calling our regular doctor who... He didn't want to go to because she was so far away and she doesn't take our insurance anymore. Well, now she'll take our insurance <laughs> because of the diagnosis. Um, but um, I, after kind of getting through the shock of it and dealing with that, I had remembered many years ago, there was a very similar inexperienced doctor who saw the same thing and it ended up being fine. So um, I think right now, it was a great lesson to learn. Don't go to a new doctor because you just don't want to drive there. <laughs> stay with your tried and true doctor. As long as they're doing a great job, stay there. Um, I did see my internist in the middle of all this and everything went well there. So like I said, a matter of fact, he and two nurses were like, what have you done? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Keep going. So um, as far as my overall health. Okay, and my lifestyle change, you know, here. Then, um, lastly, um, our daughter gave us, and son-in-law gave us, some lard from a pig they had butchered from their farm. And I um, was cutting up, I had done one round of lard rendering, and it was my first time really to do it. And so, the next day I got out, because there was so much, I had to do it in vats, and I um, so the next day I got busy with it and my husband and daughter were leaving to go into the office. So I stayed and I was, you know, working. You have to prepare the fat. And um, as soon as my daughter was walking out the door, I looked up to say goodbye and I had just pulled out of the cupboard from almost two years ago, a brand new chef quality knife to use um, because the lard was not in great condition at this point in the, you know, what we were given. And I proceeded to cut the tip of my finger off. Um, I didn't call my husband or daughter because my husband had a very um, important meeting at work. And um, I called my sister, who's in the medical profession, and she said, you know, she didn't even get the message. And when she finally called me back, I said, well, I'm doing better. But, and um, so as I cut the tip, and this is so much better. It's been bandaged out to here. It's been in... It's been a lot of stuff. So, um, this is a waterproof, and I saved this. If you are latex, and um, so I'm allergic to latex, I'm allergic to adhes adhesives. So, I could use this, and this was fantastic. But I literally, and I will demonstrate here, I cut off the tip. I cut into the nail. I had multiple cuts, as well as taking the whole tip of the finger off. And um, it wasn't completely off, but it cut down into the pad and um, there was nothing to stitch up. They were not going to salvage that little piece of flesh and skin. 
Um, but my sister, I bled. I proceeded to bleed um, for almost eight hours. And um, so I was sitting with my hand up over my head, soaking it. And of course, I became dizzy. My husband became upset, you know, like, well, you couldn't even get off the property because our daughter had parked her car there and I didn't have the keys. And I was like, I wouldn't have driven anyways. And he was like, why? And I said, because I was lightheaded. So um, my sister finally called and she had reminded me, put your hand up over your head. You know, she got very quickly into it. And, um, and I proceeded to struggle. And the other problem was that I had all of that all over my hands. I kept trying to wash and clean my hands. I, but every time I would wash my hand, it would just, it, if it had started to get a little better, it would get worse. It was just, it was just a mess. So, um, and I'm sorry if this makes anybody sick, please forgive me. Um, but, um, I was able to then, um, I was instructed on how to wrap it and I had to wrap it. My husband, when he finally got through this meeting, they called and I told my daughter what had happened. And so my husband was like, why did you call us? And I said, because it was an important meeting for you. And I really, at first thought it would be no big deal. Um, but when I got lightheaded, I realized, oh, it's a big deal now. It's a big deal. So anyways, um, and I had to put away all the, you know, anything that could spoil anything that was, um, had to be cleaned very well and, you know, all of that stuff. And I mean, there was nothing saved, you know, lard wise, it was thrown away. Anything that could potentially have been an issue. I threw everything away. Um, and, um, but I had to get this, my hand clean and I just kept, and I literally punctured this part of my hand too. And it began to swell to a huge, like almost like half a pea sized lump. It was extremely painful. That happened within just hours. Um, and of course my other finger was just, you know, it was painful and I have a really high pain tolerance, but it was red. It was, it was just such a mess. So I was able to semi get it to stop. I slept in my recliner with my hand up in the air um, all night long. You know, I kept getting awakened. And then, um, and we'd used a lidocaine, antiseptic, everything cleaner. We did everything you're supposed to. Um, you know, I ran school, so I know how to clean a wound. And I've done wound care. And um, so by the next day, it began bleeding all over again. If I moved my hand, if I did anything, it continued to bleed. And um, so then I just didn't do anything that day again. Um, and um, then I, I continued to, you know, dress and clean and do all that good stuff. And unfortunately, because of the profuse bleeding, it just kept every time anything was done to the hand if it was bumped if i had to clean it if i had to change the bandage it was just a do-over and um but within a few days it had calmed down and that was a blessing and um and i could not get the liquid bandage because i'm allergic to everything and um yeah and because i had tried you know like the aspen press on nails which i loved but I eventually developed an a, a allergy to the adhesive. And so I knew I couldn't do anything like that on my skin, though it's a little different formula, but it's basically the same stuff. You know, it's kind of like, you know, what is that? Super glow is basically what it is for skin. So um, uh, today is the first day. There is no swelling. This is a miracle. It's been well over a week and um, this is a miracle. Um, I had swelling all the way up around the front of my nail. Um, everything was, my nail was distended. What little bit was left, it was up off the skin. And Anyway, so um, without getting in too much of it, you know, it was discolored. It was all that stuff. Um, I then began to just unwrap it and let it air dry and then, you know, medicate it and all the good stuff and put it in, then, you know. But um, I put this on for you. <laughs> I didn't want you to see it. Um, it did get banged once it developed, a, you know, a covering for it naturally. Um, and it split it open. And so um, it's been a bit persnickety today. Um, but it it was so bad that um, all I could think of was, please, God, don't let it get any darker. Please don't let it lose blood flow. Please don't let it, you know... 
Um, please don't let it be have to be amputated. And that really did, at one point, kind of cut my my thought process because remember I broke a toe to the point where everyone in the hospital said you'll have to amputate your toe, and it was a big toe, and I was like, no, you got to salvage it. You know, big toes are a big deal. Not only did God salvage that nail or that toe, he salvaged the nail, which the doctor was like, I can't even believe you still have a, because we went to a specialist after the ER. And he said, I can't even believe you still have a toenail. I just really can't believe it. So, because it broke right at the nail bed. So, this is not as bad. So, it's all good. Um, you won't see me wear rings for a while, probably because of just how quickly it swells. But I'm hoping we're past the potential infection. We are planning a trip and my husband's like, well, you want to go scuba diving? We've never been scuba diving. It's affordable. And um, I was just like, I don't know. I haven't been able to get this airtight. I haven't been able to find um, waterproof bandages that I would just mummy this thing up if I were going down in the water. And then maybe, and I'm allergic to latex gloves, so I couldn't even put a glove over it, you know. So, um, but I did make shakes last night, you know, my shakers, and um, I was able to do all that, and I did cook us um, brunch today, so I feel like we're kind of getting back on the road. Um, I did feel really sick for some days, um, and I wouldn't tell my husband because I didn't want him to ner be nervous, um, and I would definitely not tell my youngest, but um, now I would say um, I'm very blessed, I'm very fortunate it is still a little sore. It's going to probably be that way for a while. But one great thing is I don't feel these things. Um, I feel them, but I don't. If you hit it, I'm going to feel it. Um, but whereas most people, you know, I've walked around on broken bones. I've had third, almost third degree, second to third degree burns that I literally went out and continued working for a church in the hot South Texas summer. So, and was doing door to door canvassing. So I literally, um, I just don't feel pain as like other people do it. And I'm so thankful. So I had pulled my calendar out to show you guys. I guess I can. I mean, I don't think there's even anything on this calendar because when this happened, it was just so um, bizarre. And as you can see, I haven't been in my calendar at all. I did. We did go for 4th of July. Um, we live near a major uh, toll road. And if we get up on the top hump of that um, frontage, we can see three different towns, uh, four different towns, five, four, five different, four, four different towns, fireworks. We got an extra town this year and we were able to go. I took my little Topo Chico uh, line drink. My husband took his and my daughter took hers and we sat in the car and we've got to watch the fireworks. And then we came home and I had recorded on, um, pardon me, YouTube TV, one of the fireworks shows. And we really missed the Boston one. We couldn't find it. I guess they're not doing it anymore. But I felt like that was so nice. It was so nice. So, um, let me see. Um, we are not going camping. I have to get the camper ready, and we're not ready. We had a dog come in yesterday on the property and kill um, a half a dozen chickens. We have one, I think, missing. We have a duck missing. Um, killed a my husband's pet, Guinea, which was very sad. And then we may have another guinea missy, which sometimes they'll come back, ducks and guineas. If they get scared, they have the ability to fly and go like into the pasture next door and get up in the trees. So um, it's very, very sad. Um, my husband now has, he had a camera out there, but he didn't have it loaded um, because we were in the winter watching for deer because they were picking trees clean. We're not having that right now. So he didn't have it loaded. We never dreamt. And it was in broad daylight. So we know it wasn't a raccoon unless it was rabid. And if it were rabid, it would still been around. We know it wasn't a possum. They wouldn't do that in broad daylight. So we, when COVID shut us down years ago, the day we all came home is we had a neighborhood dog who came in and just killed everything. So it was devastating. And so my husband now has a camera and we will be watching. So um, anyway, so... Today is um, the 6th, and we've spent all day on the phone for business. I have a terrible headache, as you can imagine, but um, met a wonderful Christian woman at the end, and this is with a government agency, so what a blessing that was, and um, it was church at the end. We, we are, I'll be praying for her, and then, um, so tomorrow I will put up that video. It's an unboxing, 
And then Saturday, I have a previous video ready for Healthy Living for Him. And then Monday, we are back to business as usual. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise and the internet don't go out. So, I hope this encourages you. I didn't want to leave you guys too much. Um, I know you guys, so many of you messaged me. So many of you left the most amazing comments. And I want to thank you. Um, I appreciate every one of you's prayers, every one of your prayers, every one of your kind messages, um, your DMs, your comments, your um, emails. I just want to say thank you. Um, I am, I kind of have a bit of a sore throat today, but it may have been because we were on the phone for, I don't know, almost five hours today. But, um, but that was such a huge thing to take care of. We have one more thing to take care of. Um, and then we have to go on to another business and take care of that. And then God willing, we are done, um, at least for now. And then we have tax returns. So it has been, um, at one point I was kind of hoarse, but it has been a day and I'm sure that's happening with my throat because we're talking a lot, but also just the stress of it, you know, and the stress of this and my body and, you know, I mean, sometimes your body just says, what are you doing? <laughs> So back to the original um, bag diagnosis, I cannot get into my regular doctor till almost the end of August. Um, I did talk to her daughter, who is also a doctor. She was very sweet, and she offered to get me in sooner if I could see her. And I said, honestly, I think it would be better because your mom has been our doctor for all these years, almost 30 years, and I think she knows you know, my anatomy, I think she knows my old records. I think she'll be able to better um, address it. And I think it would be, and then I told her the history with our son and how great she's been to our son. And she was like, oh, yeah, you want to see my mom. And I said, we love you. Your mom has said the most amazing things about you even before you um, became a doctor. And so she was like, really? And I said, oh, yeah, you're, you're tennis, you know, all the stories. And she was like, wow. And I said, yeah, we've known your mom for a long time. And, um, and I said, we remember when they built the office, you know, and so and we drive an hour and 20 minutes to get there. So she's that good of a doctor. But, um, she was like, listen, I'm putting you on the cancellation list. And if you get a call from us, you call me right back. And I said, okay. So, you know, we hopefully will get in sooner than later. Um, it is a, an aggressive, um, ailment if it be real. Um, if it really be happening, I should say, <laughs> with my poor grammar. But um, I have really given this to the Lord. And now that we have gone through this before with an outside doctor, when we were cheaping out, you know, not wanting to stay within our insurance. And next year we are changing our insurance, I'll tell you that. We've lost our hospital this year. We've lost our um, different doctors due to different insurances that come through my husband's company. And we are going to change because I will not go to the other hospital unless we're dying. Um, I will only go to the one that they've dropped our insurance. And when I talked to my sister about it, she said, yeah, the reason they're dropping that insurance is it's the worst. And I said, yeah, I got it. I got it. So, but praise God, our, our, this doctor I need to go see, she doesn't take that particular insurance, but she will take another insurance that we have. And um, because it entails possibility for surgery. So, you know, you know, so anyways, but, um, that's what's been happening here in our neck of the woods and everything is good. And my husband has been amazing. And I even worked out in the garden last night while my husband was trying to track, you know, whatever had killed all of our animals. And I mean, he was literally looking at prints in the, um, and I was on the phone with a dear sweet friend of the channel here and checking on her, she was checking on me, and I had to go. Sorry, guys, I didn't know my phone cut off. I was just going to say, we had a wonderful 4th of July. I hope you guys did, too. I got to go out in the garden a little bit yesterday evening when my husband was trying to deal with the loss of all the um, poultry. And I have garden hands today, garden hand. And, um, and for 4th of July, I made the blueberry pie keto shake, keto chow shake into an ice cream with a creamy and then I added strawberries and stevia um fudge um a little bit of you know like fudge sauce you know like chocolate sauce and some pistachios I kept it within 
because we shared it. I kept it within um, my carbs. And uh, my husband has now said, of all the ice cream in the world, store-bought, you know, yucky, not good for you. And this, this one was his all-time favorite. So when I hang up from this, I'm going to go order a big, big container of that particular um, flavor. He was like, I love that. And I saw there is Two Crazy Ketos has a uh, pie that you can make with it. So I thought, oh, because, you know, we lived in the Northeast. Yeah, we like Maine blueberries, you know. So anyways, but um, so we still had Fourth of July. We just had to keep it more simple, you know. And it was good. It was all good. We had a meal and then we had that. And our daughter ate with us. So, and it was easy. We put on the trigger. My husband helped. My daughter helped. So we could get that. So... And then we saw fireworks, and then we came back and we watched the 4th of July celebration on the TV. And so, um, it was a lovely day, and I hoped and prayed for all of you that it was the same. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I am now going to um, order that for my husband, and, um, and I just pray that you guys are doing so well. I pray for you guys all the time, every day, 1145. I always get a message on my phone, so I pray for all of our family here, La Familia. And, um, so if you're not subscribed, subscribe, we'd love to have you like, if you've enjoyed this information, I'm going to try to put these together. If my phone can do it, um, these two videos and I apologize and, um, you know, share this with anybody. Things happen, but God's in control. And I just thank him for that. So, um, again, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Um, I'll be back on regular track, Lord willing next week. And I'm excited. I'm so excited to get back in the Word with you guys. And I love you guys. And I pray your days blessed, creative, and lovely. As much as I love you, God loves you so much more. Keep serving Him well. He is totally in control when we let Him be in control. And what an amazing God we serve. All right, friends. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.